Mr. Truck here with some exciting news. If you're in Denver this week, especially on a Wednesday, June 14th, come by the Tattered Cover on Santa Fe. We're having a book signing. Me and Andre will have the book Truck Nuts there. For more information, go to trucknutsbook.com and it'll show you exact times and location. 7 o'clock Mountain Time that evening. But come by and see us and visit. Buy a book with Talk Trucks. Well, hey there, Mr. Truck. Hey, big truck. I like your channel. Wouldn't it be a great idea to do a video together since, you know, we're both into trucks? Great idea. That would be fun. So what do you think we should do a video on? Well, we both review trucks and trailers. What accessories out there would help both? Now, that sounds like a great idea. Any ideas on a product? I think it should be a surprise. Something that's useful and helpful for towing trailers. I agree. I think this is going to be great. And I'm ready for this awesome video. Talk to you soon. Mr. Truck here with another exciting SUV review. This is Kit and Kelsey from MrTruck.com with this 2017 LX, I mean Lexus, Lexus. GX460. Yep. I'll get this all straight. <laughs> and Kelsey, how much power does this have? We have 301 horsepower to 329 foot-pounds of torque. Awesome. We're going to go up some trails because this is not ready for a trailer. You know, we'll, we'll tow 6,500 pounds. So we're going to go rock climbing. Let's go play. Yeah, good. With air suspension and crawl mode <laughs> and hill descent and 17 speakers. Come join us. <laughs> Yeehaw. These beautiful mountains. Everything's turning green up here in the Rockies. I love it. But anywho, you know, I really want to pull a trailer with this. Yeah. This Lexus GX460, and I was comparing this to the Land Cruiser we did, you know, a few months ago, and I thought this was closer to that. But that one, this has body on frame, which you know, makes me happy. Yes. For trailers and all, and so the Land Cruiser. Land Cruiser had a 5.7 V8. This has got a 4.6 V8, and Land Cruiser was full-time, all-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive. And as far as I can tell, this one is all-wheel drive, drive front-wheel drive. And you got the front locker. Yeah, it's the lock. Well, you lock the differential on these. The front rear is going all the time. I don't know if it actually locks the axle. I got to find that out. But this one is all-wheel drive. It's got the rock climb, and it's got the speed of how fast you rock climb, and then you push buttons to put it in. It's got four high, and I put it in four low, and then it's got another thing for raising the air up and down. It's got a rear air suspension, and this is that kinetic suspension too. So. It stiffens up on the highway, and then when you go off-road and it senses a lot of wheel movement, it disconnects the front and rear sway bar, which I think is cool. And that's what the Land Cruiser did. I think the Land Cruiser might be equivalent to the one size larger Lexus, you know, they're all cousins. And this one's made in Japan. It's not in one of the plants over here in Texas or anywhere, so... And that's kind of explains why some of the controls are closer to the right side, because the steering wheel over there is over on the right side. That was something I didn't know when I got in this because I'm sitting here going, everything's on the wrong side of the gear shifter. Yeah. It really is. And then yeah. I've got a couple hidden buttons underneath my steering wheel and the knobs are, so say, shallow, shallower than normal. Yeah. And then they're slick. Yeah. And this puppy is a luxury car. I mean, it actually stickers for $71,890. So it's up there a ways. The Land Cruiser, of course, is more expensive. It's a bigger unit. But this is like that with the captain's chairs in the middle row. So you got seat belts for six. six. And very, very quiet. It is very quiet. Even getting on it, you don't hear much engine noise. You don't hear much road noise. You barely feel, yeah. if you feel, the transmission shift. Right. It's like a, it's, it's like instead of a car. And it's a six-speed transmission. Now, this was actually... Of course, it's a luxury automobile, so you got mahogany wood in here, you got aluminum, you got all kinds of stuff. And the heat, you know, the heated everything, cooled everything, all the normal stuff in the luxury vehicle. And it's got you know, rain sensing windshield wipers. It actually has a squirter for the headlights to keep yeah. them clean. And then it's got, uh, what I really like, we'll show you when we're stopped here, the front camera, of course, it's got a reverse camera, but when you it's put it in automatic mode and you stop, it actually shows you a 195 degree angle in the front. And it shows you the whole right side, the side that you're not on when you're driving. 
So it's just pretty cool. I got a kick out of that. Uh, I put it on automatic, so it happens every time you stop and start. There's a button on the steering wheel for it, too, that I found. Yeah, and that's how you turn it on. And then you hit the screen to turn it off and on. It's got a lot of stuff. I mean, this has got that, what they call it, an inform, where you put all your, you know, your Facebook buttons, all the, the, the modern stuff that comes up on the screen, and you do whatever yep. you want to do there. But a lot of toys to play with, and it's, you know, highly electronic. Now, this one is rated to tow a 6,500-pound trailer. Of course, but we'll never know. They didn't give us a hitch. No, it's supposed to so, have a hitch on. I climbed underneath there. Usually, there's a plastic section you take out, and there's the hitch. Well, there's a little tiny plastic section on this, and there's no hitch. There's a framework back there. I think made the bolt one up from underneath or something. That does have a light plug, which is really weird to not have a receiver hitch and have a light plug. So, I thought we had it, but I guess we're not going to pull a trailer with this. 6,500, so this is the maximum rating on it. But... Uh, Besides being nice and quiet, you got 17 speakers and it's got yeah. a special stereo system. It sounds wonderful. Oh, it does. I mean, the, I can sit here and listen to my oldies from the 70s forever. <laughs> yeah, no, it sounds wonderful, everybody, and with all of the speakers, it, and you can change all of them on the screen, too. That's a decent sized screen. We'll show you yeah, that later. Yeah, and I'll show you the owner's manual because that's a thick it's a, yeah. dictionary. Because there is so many electronics and so many adjustments on this. We'll go take this off road, play with the crawl, and play with the hill descent, the hill climb, and the air ride on it, and see what we can do with that. So we get the most clearance we can find. And this course has a lot of entertainment centers. You got the DVD players on the back of the front headrest. Oh, no, it's not here. It's below that on the seat. Oh, it's in the seat? Uh, yeah, it's built in the top Good. part of the seat. And we'll look at some of these got inside lots of, toys. Lots of buttons. I've got some things that I don't know what's going on. I've got a little screen on the top of my steering wheel. Yeah, and all I've ever gotten out of that was three dots. I have yeah. no idea. i got to read the rest of that manual. And I never, it never showed in the manual or any place online that I could find how to run the air suspension if there's some special trick to it. I mean, you can turn it off, on and off hill climb. You can turn on and off the air side of it, but we'll work on that. We'll figure out. So. Might have to put it in neutral. Yeah. Oh, there's still some snow up here. We're going to go through some snow on these trails. We're going to try this off-road since we can't tow a trailer. And this is the GX460 Luxury model. So this is the top of the top on the GX model. With a Nightfall mic as the color of the paint. It's beautiful. 4.6 VA. Six-speed transmission. Six-speed, and it's a full-time four-wheel drive. Adaptive variable suspension. So, you know, I guess it separates itself. It's got rear air suspension. And the kinetic and dynamic suspension, the kinetic dynamic is like what we saw in the Land Cruiser. It, when you're on highway, it firms up. And when you go off-road, it measures your wheel travel. And then it disconnects. The anti sway bar front and rear automatically, which is really awesome. We're going to try to find us a big enough hold to actually put that on camera. What's the gas mileage look like in one of these? Well, it's actually a little bit lower than the Land Cruiser. Is it? Yes. On the city, the Land Cruiser was like 16. This is 18. Highway is 8. Or, I mean, this was 15. And the Land Cruiser was 16. Highway, this one's 18. That's what the Land Cruiser was. So combined, it's 60 miles per gallon. Okay. But $71,890. It's a pretty penny. Yeah, it's not a cheap. And you know, you think about that. That's what a dually diesel crew cab would cost you four wheel drive, yep. but they're not the same markets. The guys comparing Lexus don't really look at the duallys. Mm -hmm. The guys buying dually diesels don't really look at the Lexus. So, totally different markets. Just a kind of unique pricing. When I look at that, if, if I would spend seventy one thousand, of course it would have to be a diesel Pick truck up. dually. Yeah. But I uh, would even I would pro I'm on the fence about getting. A nice dually for the farm and then getting an eco diesel just to drive around. Yeah. It's been on my mind. I have to turn in all my vehicles, so. <laughs> have a big sell. Yep. Well, today we lucked out. We got sunshine. We got snow like the last three days up here, so. Wonderful got, Colorado. Uh, yep. And this has like adaptive cruise control, too. It's, they don't call it that, they have a special name, but I've been playing with that. It is awesome. Right here. Do we know what LBA? Well, it's, yeah, it's in it's in that little pocket there. They hide their cruise control on a little paddle switch. So you got up and down, in and out. And then I don't know. There ain't way too many buttons on this. I don't know what the LDA does. Maybe somebody else will write in and tell us on the video. A lot of mode buttons. Several screens to go through. 
and it's like the fan speed. There's no button for that. You got to go through the climate screen to get to the, you know, raising your fan or put it on auto, and you can yeah. do all that stuff too. What else does this shiny Lexus Nightfall have? Mica? I don't know what shows for the interior color, but the Inform Safety Connect, which you know has it's hooked up to about everything. Tin airbags, that's always important. It's got the brake assist, electronic brake force distribution. Now there's a cool thing, and of course it has all the safety stuff on it, but if you push on the gas and the brake pedal at the same time, it will automatically slow you down. It thinks you're confused or thinks there's something wrong. Oh, it does. It doesn't want you pushing both pedals. Oh. <laughs> so it will, it will lean toward the brake instead of the gas. Which means you can't power break it. You can't it power off. break. How, how we got to win any races right now. <laughs> this is not right. Anyway, no, it's about you know, super safety vehicles. Blind spot, cross traffic alerts, all that. So it's there's no important. two foot driving in this. No, no. Definitely no, not. No pedal cars here. They call the leather semi aniline leather trim seats, whatever that means. Ten way power seats. They look seats. like a black leather seat to me. Mahogany. The 10 way seat still. that they do go up very far. They go up high. Yeah. And then, I mean, you can almost feel like you're sitting on the ground and you're definitely off the ground in this. Well, you remember the Durango had so much telescopic range. I, I really like this. Liked. does. No, this one it, doesn't. Oh. It might have two inches or an inch and a half. It's not. The it's Durango not that Durango. Wonderful. Yeah, no. that Durango came out really well. Yeah, it's like an aircraft driving an airplane. This one is a little less, but it is power. LED lights all over the place. Mm -hmm. Auto dimming mirrors, all the other the windshield wipers that come on. I love that. It's needed. Yep. Let's got the wireless headphones. The entertainment center, the kids were playing. It looked to me like you could actually listen to radio and everything in these headphones. You got a screen oh. that comes up and you can do all the neat stuff. Yep, it's all about safety. So I'm guessing this has a five star crash rating too, then? Do we have no, that? No. That, that part of this Maroni sticker is blank. It is blank, so... I wonder what that means. It might not have been <laughs> tested yet. I don't know. Lexus this normally a, has a pretty safe yeah, um, star rating. Yeah, it's 17. They are usually very good. we got airbags in the door frame, or in the pillars yeah. that I see, obviously, in the front. Well, there's 10 airbags. There's 10 airbags. Yeah. I'm just reading the shipbelt float in the river if you go off the side of the road. As long as the airbag's in flight. They yeah. only stay inflated for so long, so. Yeah, so we're going to have to get to the shore fast. These are 18-inch wheels, and it's a, it's a gunmetal metal finish. They look really cool. They're pretty. Uh, gunmetal is a popular color right now for wheels and even some vehicles. Yep. I just love how quiet it is. That's, you know, that's nothing you really can enjoy stereo in a car like this. Yeah, it's super quiet. Yes, you don't. You don't hear road noise. You don't hear the transmission. Every once in a while, if you put your foot in it, you can hear the engine. But yeah, there's the road noise is virtually not there. Now the heat strain was kind of weird when I tried that out. It only heats the leather part, not the wood part, which is a little bit strange because my hands are on the top part of the wheel. Go go gadget! Zoom! If you guys can hear that. <laughs> Yeah, see, it downshifted and, and took off pretty fast. You don't feel it shift, though. Yeah, and you don't feel like it doesn't put you back in the seat and accelerates. I'm sure nope. it does all that to make you comfortable because us sophisticated intellectuals, we like to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is comfortable. <laughs> it's comfortable. It's it's a little awkward for me because I'm not used to having an SUV with so many buttons, but then the buttons yeah. aren't in the right areas by any means. Yeah, and you got to look for everything. Mm-hmm. It's the, definitely a search, and the things that I should be able to see right away, my four-wheel drive, um, my, everything I'm used to with the Toyotas being up here is down past my gear shift. Um, the differential lock, the everything on this side that I haven't even got to explore yet because it's underneath the steering wheel. Yeah. It's just, it'll definitely take some getting used to. Yeah, this is definitely one of those vehicles you do want to get your owner's manual out and read through how everything works. It'll yes. take you a while, and that's a problem where we only have a vehicle for a week, you know, unless we spend every day in it. It's really hard to learn everything about the vehicle. You learn as much as you can, and me being in the trailer towing, and I can't tow a trailer with it. So, but it handles corners wonderfully. Oh, it, it does. This it's, is wonderful. It's level, it's very level going around this corner. 
and body on frame couldn't be happier. Yeah, so you got a little low differential yeah. weight. Center of gravity is down below you, which is where I like it. They've got this new look. I don't know exactly what year this new grill came out, but it's got that mean look, you know. Like you're a, a raptor or something climbing through the, the caves because it's got a really mean front stance to it. It does. When I walked out, I was kind of happy to see it. Yeah, it is. It's, it's the totally color is appealing. It, it looks appealing by all means. It's a pretty car. Yeah. SUV. Sorry. It's a pretty SUV. And you know, you want them to look different because so many SUVs look alike, and this one always stands out. That it does. It's a touring SUV. Take this cross country and be very comfortable. You could. By all means, you could. Pulling out their snowmobiles or four wheelers or what are they doing? Yeah, they're out there in the snow on their four wheelers. They're going up uh, trailing. Yeah. Yep. Is, it's paid is, trailing. Yeah, this is wild that this trail is open. Wow. It's actually a great idea. Go grab you a raptor and just come on up here and play. Yeah. How did I got the key? Everybody? Yeah, we're out here. We guys are a little bit muddy, but we're going to try to show you the air rear suspension. So it just lifts up the rear end and not the front end. How does that help you going over these rocks? So we got to back up over the rocks. Oh, there it's going down. I can see it going down. Slowly but surely. That's almost to the lowest Okay, now try to go all the way up again. I hear the compressor. It's quiet though. Yeah. If you got your windows up, you don't. No, you don't. That's a, they got a good insulation package in the cabin. Slowly going up. Well, that's weird if it just picks up the back, because I know it's an auto leveling air suspension for trailer. Now, that makes sense, but can you use the air suspension for off road use? Or is it just jack the back end up, which drops the front end? It only says rear air. That's what I like. So, what do you think? If we jack up the back end, it may not be helping us clear more rocks. <laughs> now sport mode thing all shows is sport and comfy. Yeah, sport so, and comfort. so I guess we'd want to be kind of comfy, wouldn't we? Going comfy. Yeah. Let's try it. Okay. It's the worst that happens. There's roadside on here and an SOS button. Somebody will come get us, right? I think so. Hope so. Okay. I know we got a little bit of mud on the floor mud. mask. I know. That's just how life is. This is real world mm -hmm. testing. And there's all this stuff over here, like this here is the one that washes your windshield, windshield wipers. wipers. Traction you control. Hope you can see that. Yeah, traction control off heated and a heated steering, steering wheel. wheel. Trip sensor. So there's not a button on the screen. I did notice about the gauge cluster. Uh-huh. That it like hazes over and sometimes you can't see it. I noticed that. If the sun's just right, you can't see the dash. I guess they need a bigger, taller cowling or whatever you want to call this to shield that because you're right. I noticed that yesterday and today. It, you can't see the dash. There was an awful <laughs> glare when I got into it today. And you can, you know, you can turn the lights it. up, but I don't know if that would took it out or not. I tried um, some of that. And, and then power, tilt, and telescope is just wonderful. Um, you got your gas. Cap, yes, yeah, so nobody steals your gas, uh, I guess. I don't know. Let's see how much. Some yeah. Everyone. Now it's probably what two inches of travel. I wish I had just a little bit more to, to make me comfortable sitting there. Yeah. You can hear all that. So you got all kinds of room in there. Of course, you know. And I'm also not a large person by any means. Yeah, you married a giant, but you're not a giant, yeah. so. There's plenty of. There's, should be plenty of leg room. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Everybody. I think um, so. It's, that's how the front seat is. It's designed for the biggest people. It's in the front cabin area. It does have the 10-way power seats, and it does go up, so us really short people can feel tall. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it has the, where you adjust the pedals. I couldn't find that button. It's probably in the screen somewhere. But, oh well. And Toyota's had that first. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the button. I do have the differential button down here. Yeah, that locks your, yeah, locks your transfer case. Right here. We'll probably use that on our way up, but 
Yeah, I was guessing I was going to remember to check out the tires on this because they are called some mud and snow, but they're basically street tires. Not a whole lot of tread there, but anyway. Yeah. This does have the mirrors that fold down when you put it in reverse, or it shows you the ground. Yeah, it drives reverse. me nuts. I got to find that. That's the thing with <laughs> these newer, <laughs> the newer vehicles. They put everything on the fanciest ones. They put everything in the screen, so you actually have to know those screens. In the old days, I only used the screen to find the radio, and I, but now if you wouldn't even run the vehicle, you got to use those screens. We have a jeep coming. Okay, cool. Yeah, I love those entertainment centers for the grandkids. Yeah. And these you can listen to the radio and all kinds of things too through your wireless headsets. It's got the little, little pocket. I mean, it's yeah. better than having no pocket. Look at those speakers everywhere. They got these they cute are, little yeah. speakers, little tweeters and wolfers. Was there 17 in this? Yeah, 17 of them puppies. So, I'm pretty sure there's, there's room by all means for me to get in here and get back between the seats. Oh, is there? Yeah, because there's two uh, cup holders say, there. Yeah, there are cup yeah. holders that fold up. Yeah. Um, or fold down, fold up, whatever you want to put it. But, I mean, small people sh will be able to fit between the seats yeah. to get back. But I'm pretty sure these seats pop full. Yeah, over. there's a, the outside lever it shows that it folds all the way around. And then you can show us the back seat. I, I think I put the back seats up. I can't remember. That seat should fold down. Are the seats up or down? They are down. Okay, well then. I'll get in there. Well, no, you got to come back here now. If, if, oh, if, if like I, the electric? If I, well, yes. Now, this is a tricky door. It's not a hatch. It's a swinging door. So let me see how fast you can. It took me a while to figure it out. And the glass opens separately. There, look at that. You are so fast. Right. So now there you are. Now that we're up in the air with the air ride. And there they are. Now there's buttons somewhere right that raise it and lower it. So you can get those at least one seat up so you can show us if you can get to that third row or not. Uh, That's all power. Isn't that definitely cool? don't have a trunk if you have three seats. Yeah, yeah. You got the straps that fold them down. That's quite a door. I mean, some people That's love them, some people don't. That's a door. Yeah, a big giant door. Is that as far as that seat comes forward? That's as far as that seat comes forward. There's got to be a way of folding it. Huh. Let's see. Oh, there's buttons. Wow. There's more to, buttons? There's buttons to fold the seats, too, right okay. here. Okay. And then on this side too. Yeah, and you got folding headrests too that are kind of stuck in the way. They're right behind you is probably not the most comfortable headrest. And those flip up. Like, well, they might be power flipped up. You would think, ah, oh, there you go. Your power. So I'm really, probably not much much leg room. Doesn't look like you have any leg room. I don't think <laughs> I'm going to have any leg room if we <laughs> shut this in and lean her back. Yeah. There, there's not much leg room back here, guys. I yeah. mean, my knees are bent at a 90, and I won't move, but... Oh, there you go. It did fold. But, but that's... It should it should fold one more time. Fold up? Yeah. It should, should, if it doesn't, it doesn't. What's this one What's, do? What does that do? I don't know. That's weird. Have to figure out all these We're going to have to figure out these seats, because well, they are... child seat anchor. Is yeah, that an that's, anchor? No, here's the anchor. Oh, okay. Child seat anchor. Oh, okay. It's right there, but I don't know what okay. this one is. I don't want to break it. No, that is weird that it, it's got to fold over one more time. Unless that's what that's for. Yeah. It's just for my thingy. Oh, no. <laughs> well, and then it won't fold flat from that. I guess the headrest would hit. Oh, well. I don't know. So we'll give up on that project. We'll get out because this is... See, I can never climb back in there. This is definitely a smaller back seat. Yeah, yeah. I would be... For small I would people, be done. Yes. Probably wouldn't sit all the way back there. Definitely Look at that. kids, kids. Well, let's go climb some rocks. Let's go play. Don't tell me what... Yeah, that's cool. Level now I'm in. And that says neutral. And that, that's lowering it? Mm-hmm, that's the rear end lowering. Okay, let's go the other it, direction. I'm yeah. gonna put it back all the way up. Yeah, put it way up in here. That's as, as up as it goes. What does it say, neutral? Or what's it splash? No, that one says high. This is high? This that one. That switch. That's cool, this has so many options. Now what's this other one over here do? Sport and... Is that the ride, so do we have to put that that's in sport? suspension. Okay, well does that affect comfort. the air ride? That's comfort, that's... Oh, it's in the middle. Yeah. Okay, there's a middle setting. Who knows what that does? I'll have to read that. But so, did we do it? In the sport would lower it, wouldn't it? So, yeah, go it to the top one. 
Now is that still showing? It's still there? showing high and it stopped working. Okay, liking. good, good. So we got the suspension high, which is I what don't know we what want. the speed is. And oh, that's, that's a cruise for control. Crawl, crawl, that's crawl, crawl. That's the crawl control. Yeah, the crawl control. So there you can go. turn on the hill descent or the hill. Let's turn all that on. Have to, okay. Nope, you got to do it in four low. Okay, well let's get the four low. You got it neutral, yeah. So you put the four low switch there in four low. Select four low. Okay, and then hit the and crawl. And shift to drive or rear position. Yeah, I was trying to do that. Hard time getting in there. Lots of buttons. Oh, and you check the speed right here. It comes up and it says crawl is activated. Low. Down one more. So this is the crawl is activated on the screen. It says okay. it's low. Low, good. So we want that. So we can just kind of walk up these hills. So it looks like there's. So you keep going down, or are we down to? No, nope, that's the that's the lowest that I see. Okay, we might even play that on the go and see if we can lower it if we can. Mm -hmm. well, and then cool. the. And then the other one shows you the air the ride has this focus. all the way up. And it's not focusing. Oh, Some of those will have to actually probably move it forward to get it to kick in. See that it says it's high, and then right now. Obviously the drive for the gear you're in. And then it's got the gear dry diagram. And then it's not, it's got our traction control off and it's. Yeah, we may have to actually roll to do that. Sometimes that's all even the high, low range is. When you're just, I don't know what this BSM is. Do we know B what BSM? It's a green button that says BSM. And then down at the very bottom is where it shows your hilt. Ascent or descent. Yeah, the hill descent is what it sure has a whole bunch of weird controls too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your phones. I don't know what this one is. This is that LDA button that we yeah, were talking about. Yeah, we don't know what the LDA button is. Somebody will write in on our on our video and explain it. Now that's for the alert. The you sensors know, the, yeah, all the way alerts. around. Here's your cruise control down here. Yeah, they this hide hideaway that. That's, pocket. That's a Toyota thing. They put it in the back side of the steering wheel. Now this is what's cool on the screen. This is in automatic mode. And it shows you what's, uh, I think it's 193 degrees in the front. So this is the front of the pickup, or yeah. the car, this SUV. And, and, then, over, and then that shows you the whole right side. So you got your passenger side and then your entire front, which yeah. is nice. Whether somebody's in front of you or you're going to run into something or whatever yeah. it is. I guess on your side, you figure you stick your head out the window and look down, I guess. Yeah, it might look a little <laughs> funny. These, my, my. <laughs> We can try it. I mean, no, that's okay. No, that's okay. You're <laughs> just, yeah, you can stick your head out the window, but no, that's this has got all the cool controls. Now, this is kind of neat for your armrests. Yeah, they move. You see, it looks like it's dark in here, but yeah, they slide forward. The armrests slide forward and back. I'm not sure how often I would use that. It's not dramatic, and you got a little tiny cubby hole below that, which is kind of small. This is the center consoles. Yeah, you got the wireless headphones stored in there and your remote. The remote's got its own little cubby. Yeah. That's what that is. Yep. Um, a few controls up on top, not a lot. SOS. Yeah. Moonroof, sunroof. SOS. I can remember that button as we start climbing, I'll be able to... Ooh, there's Kid one mirror. of those panoramic mirrors. You can watch what the kids are doing. That's just too cool. Now we just need the partition that goes up in the middle. Um, yeah. These knobs though. You don't like look, the knobs. Look how little the knobs are and then yeah, they're, slick. They're, they're, they're slick. They're they're slick by all means. There's no Yeah. And then they're well that's that refined thin. look. You know, this is a luxury yes. automobile. That's that refineness. Sometimes when yeah. I'm grabbing I'm not gonna I'm gonna fumble for these. That's for sure. And then yeah. the temp buttons. I did notice that there's not a fan high, low Right. The only way you can get there is going to climb it. And you go in the climate, and then there's a button there. That's what I figured out. If you hit that fan button, it goes up and down. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So Looks, you have to use the touch screen. Yeah, look how long it would take you to get to that. You know, but you can shut the fan off. There is a fan off button somewhere. Ah. Yeah. So you can shut it clear off if it's really annoying or making too much air noise. So that's the thing is this is one of those you do want to look at the manual. Where is that manual? Where is the button? There's a button. So button. Okay, then there's this giant manual. Holy cow! So here's your book, guys. This is the old and New Testament. And <laughs> goodness gracious! It, it's it, it's a book by by all means. I wouldn't even read that if I was going to college. Look at that. But I would probably browse through the quick steps because it. There's a lot of good information yes. in here. You're definitely going to need it. Oh, what yeah. do we have back there? Is that a, a light change? Oh, is it really? I don't. Some kind of a pigtail. 
but I don't know what it goes to because there is a already got a plug on the back for the trailer, just no hitch. Hmm. But then it tells you all these other things. Put this book back, ten pound book. Yeah. yeah. Is that for a doorstop? This is a button. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice and padded up in here. That I mean, is... this is a little softer that on the leather padded. side. Yeah. And then this is that's just where some your plastic. knees would hit. Yeah, that's where your face would hit. So. I don't know what this is yet. Hopefully somebody right, can we'll figure out. help us. I remember three red dots is about all I remember. All right, we gotta chase a ram up the hill. People are all over the place trying to climb this hill. It's a fun one. Okay, so we'll, well, let's go get let's something go play. done. Red light, all right, Kelsey, now we're ready to climb the rocks. <laughs> this is always fun. Let's see how well it does. Got one camera on top, so it's not gonna show you a close up of the rocks, but we'll show you kind of like the angle we're going up. And this is a tough one. So you like you drop the air. Maybe you lock the differential. Now oh, I did it, did it again. There's another light come on. Yeah, okay. there's no well, my dashboard's a my gauge cluster is a Christmas tree right now, everybody. <laughs> so <laughs> we got hill descent, hill climb, and lock the different the uh, they call it center differential. We used to call them transfer cases. But anyway, this is a nice little trail. I'm glad it's open too, and we went up here. Blackcock was trying to find where all the trails that are open all year round, and there's only a handful of them around Boulder yep. that's open. And then you know, care up to Walden, but I'm really surprised this is open. But apparently, it's popular because there's a, a nice whole trip. bunch of ATVs out by the road there. Well, they do the, uh, um, rental, yeah, everything. So, they do. Is this is the same road we were on, mm -hmm. so we did that in the middle of the night with green screen, mm -hmm. land cruiser. Gosh, are they shooting at me? What's happening? Holy cow! That one was fairly close. That one was ice on the ceiling. Oh, jeez. <laughs> really? You yes. sure? There's ice right there. Oh, man. Is that gunshot wound or what? <laughs> Holy cow! That didn't sound like a gunshot to you? No. That sounded like I would have fallen off a tree. <laughs> that, that fell off the Papers. tree and hit the ceiling. Man. Hit the roof. Doesn't do any good to duck after the bullet flies by you. Holy cow. <laughs> Had me worried there. It's safe for Holy the most cow. part. That sounded close. If somebody's shooting at me far away, I figure I got a good chance, but when they're shooting close, they gotta be blind to miss you. Okay, so we'll say it's ice. <laughs> I'll go with your story. Now, can you slow you try to slow it down or it's in the lowest slow mode? So I'm not even in crawl yet. Oh you're not? Mm -mm. I thought we pushed all these buttons to get you. There. I pushed all the buttons, but as soon as I hit it in park it went away. Wow, there's a button. Make sure it's on. Then you can... There you go. Now we got it. Now it's ABS is kicking on. They might there's speed the up small on. crawl. Yeah, that's slow crawl. Let's speed up just to here. Wish I could get outside and walk around the camera doing that. You could. That's really slow. Here's the medium crawl. Oh, that's kind of comfortable. Well, I mean, probably go one more above that, huh? Or that's high, crazy high. Oh, we got somebody coming up. I gotta figure out this windshield wiper thing because Lexus would not make one. It wasn't symmetrical. Look at this one. It shoots up and it hangs over the side. So I think my windshield wipers are out of adjustment. Okay. Look at that. It's a Ram. I bet that's a, that's one of them there. Them, what's the new one? A Rebel. Looks like a Rebel. It's not a power wagon, but it is. A, I don't think it's a power wagon. You see a winch in that front wheel bumper? No, I do not. You get the power wagon, or a uh, Rebel. Rebel. I'll be getting one of those too. <laughs> He's probably thinking we're all crazy for taking a Lexus up here, everyone. Yeah, yeah. There's the ABS. Is that hill climb or hill I, descent? I just put the climb back oh, on. I took okay. it off so that I could get around. Yeah. Because that ram was letting me by. Now, which speed setting are we in now? We are uh, one notch above medium. And we're just kind of crawling along. Yeah. Here's high. That's cool. See, with that, that front camera on, you can actually watch yeah, stuff as it's everything. coming. Yeah, I can watch everything. And where's my other camera when I need it? Uh, <laughs> we'll get it coming down. But I can see the dips in the road and the rocks that come up. And Yeah. That's awesome. But I'm, I'm doing nothing. Yeah. Trick does it all. This is good. This would be fun. Take your luxury $71,000 automobile off to the rocks. <laughs> Actually, 
actually, I may just take this camera off and then play with it. <laughs> I want you guys to be able to see the screen. The screen is so cool. It shows you just about everything. So there's the passenger side. And yeah. this is the 180 up front. See, I can count the rocks out my window without even opening the window. And your side, you got to stick your head out the window and see your rocks. This is too cool. And this is awesome. This is an awesome road. Look at the rocks we're next to up here. I think I will roll that window down. And the water, so the waterfalls come out of this. This is just too cool. Beautiful scenery up here. We got our four wheelers up here and a motorcycle up here. This one wouldn't be bad for a motorcycle, actually. Yeah. There's a rock. Holy oh, cow! We dropped off something there. But I didn't hear any plastic breaking. Good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I love this front camera. And then you can put it on automatic mode so it just stays on there and you can actually count those rocks, the big ones. And so you know how to climb them with the wheel, keep from hitting them. So that you I put the wheels up on top of the rocks. And here's something good about Colorado trails. See that 105? The trails are marked here. I mean they're marked good in Moab, but I think they're marked better in Colorado for off-roading. Tells you the number and you can look them up in your little guide. But look at the snow we got up here. This is cool. So that's the high setting on speed on yep. the, this is the, the high, climb. The high speed on climb. Wow. Just kind of relaxing. Yeah. This is I awesome. have to definitely get out of some of these games. Yeah, they must all be ahead of us. Of course, this makes a loop, this trail. It does. Yeah. Yeah, I remember coming through here at the Land Cruiser. I thought we were going to be airborne half the time. <laughs> <laughs> There, you can hear it. The ABS kicks in. That's what does the rock crawl and the heel descent is using the ABS. It doesn't go too fast. Wow. There's any rocks out my window down the floor. Gets to be up here. <laughs> yep, and it's just so cool. All the toys on this vehicle that have to do with off roading. It's amazing with the rock climb, hill descent, cameras. I mean, this thing is actually made for off road use. It's just kind of unusual that's in an expensive luxury SUV that they bother to put all this on there. You know, it's not just for looks, it actually works. Yeah. Oh, what's that beeping noise? Or is that probably my camera running out of battery on top? I bet it is. Somebody's down in here already. Yep. Oh, they're bowing. Oh, yeah. Some fun ones, Marjorie. Good old Colorado. Yep. I almost bought a crossbow the other day. I thought that would be fun. And you look at how what it takes to load it. And you got to pull it, put two little strings on it, pull the string up. I mean, it's not like, I, mean, I don't know how they kill zombies with those bow, those, those crossbows. <laughs> it does not load fast. I mean, there is one that has run by air that you can get that will load fast and just bing, 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 bing. But the normal crossbow, it probably takes you 30 seconds to load the damn thing. Then you're trying to find the zombie in your scope. That takes a little while. I don't know. So I don't know. I almost bought one. I may still you buy one. Bow. You got a crossbow? No. Yeah. It was just fine. Look at that. It's a Toyota Tacoma. Yeah. Little Tacoma plane. It's one of our cousins in our Lexus here. They're out playing in the snow, and as are we. Yep. It was a beautiful day to be out playing. I was supposed to place the tire horses up there. Poor horses would be almost falling downhill. Well, when it's in the summer, everything's packed. Yeah. 
put them on the other side. There's um, a couple camping spots up here that have uh, pins up here, too. Oh, really? Oh, that's so, cool. Bring horses down, go for a nice luxury stroll. I could bring the grandkids up here and yeah. pin them in. Yeah, there. sounds <laughs> like a plan. You could, until the ranger came by. The ranger doesn't want me to pin my grandkids? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> well, he probably wore those reserved for teenagers. Yep. That's the teenager pin. You can't put your grandkids there. We, it showed me which yeah, road it, showed, it was going on. Yeah, it shows what we're on a road, okay. Yeah, that's the road we're on. It's a forest road. Yeah, okay, let's see if I can get this thing lined up here. There's a big tree. Yeah, we're finding the big holes. But you're doing good. I can tell we're not quite bottoming out. Yeah, so I'm ha happy. Yeah, you mom, well, I'm, you know, my land cruiser had a thing for steering. We were all locked up in four wheel drive yeah. and locker. Not this one. Yeah, this is the steer button. See, if it gets too crazy, you have to unlock the transfer case. Well, you're doing good. We're doing these little Michelin highway tires. We haven't exactly found anything deep to get us in trouble either. Yeah. Now, why do they call a highway tire mud and snow? It's all terrain, so that yeah. when. Well, this isn't all terrain. If it was, I'd feel better. It's called mud and snows. And there are not much tread. It's like the highway tread. The old train had a lot bigger lugs than this one. This one's, and it's called mud and snow. Yowzer. No, oh, this Lexus gives me a feeling of confidence. <laughs> Quite sure a good driver. Confidence and yes. snottiness. And yes. <laughs> this is how you have fun in a four-wheel drive. I mean, so many people buy you SUVs, and all they do is go get the kids from school and go to parties and Starbucks and go to King Supers, and that's all they ever use them for. I mean, when I was selling them back, I sold Explorers, you know, nobody used them to go off road. And here we're taking one of the more expensive ones off road, but that's, you know, they spend the time designing these to SUVs, yeah, to work off road, and so why would you not want to test them out? I certainly, if I bought one of these, I'd go out and have fun with it. I'd need a hitch. Yes, and I, I, I'm really surprised. They, they told me originally they had a hitch and there was some kind of goof up, and three times they postponed this truck to get it to me. So, I don't know. But I asked everybody I knew, and nobody had pulled the trailer with it. Yeah, oh, look at this. A razor's going to run into us. How exciting. Slow down, Razor. They're having fun. Yeah, they are. Don't blame them at all. But they're forgetting that there's a top of the hill, there's somebody coming. Yeah, it's all the ways the way it works. Yep. Yeah. Heck yeah, I'd go bring that. my razor up here and screw around. Yeah, yeah. Or I would bring my four ATVs up here and screw around because that's what one razor costs, four ATVs. Yep. So. <laughs> well, we uh, have almost conned the in-laws into buying a, a razor or side-by-side -side or yeah, the get cheaper, a, get the cheaper, four -seat one. Yeah, the cheaper four-seater. Yeah. I'd so that we fine. could all go, or we could go, you know, if we went camping, we could go play in the mud. We could, we could go sure. do things with it. Because the four-wheeler we have has been rolled like six times. Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. Mm, yeah, that thing is damaged pretty good. Um, look at the razor behind me. Well, my lifetime, I've had a lot of wrecks on motorcycles and ATVs, and I just. It's taught me a few things. You always wear a helmet and you always have your gloves. And now I've got, you know, the knee pads, the shin pads, and it all makes sense. Now, see, those guys can go faster than I would through here. Oh, yeah, they got suspension. Long travel, yeah, yeah Fox Shocks and all that. They're golden. And we do remember the going over this with the Land Cruiser and, and that we went shelf. Over. Yeah, you went over those rocks. I figured this is not the. Yeah, these roads have give you a couple choices on some of these really bad spots. You can go around it or you can go through it. My land cruiser, I went through it, and then I found out it was so much money, I kind of <laughs> cringed at the top. <laughs> yeah, just like that the power wagon, you know, and I hit the sagebrush going through the sand bowls. I had two pieces of sagebrush go through one tire and ruined the tire, and they were kind enough to pay for that. That's but okay. that said, the media services are really good. I mean, I've only... The very very little damage on vehicles over the last 12 years. That's so, good. And I respect the vehicles. I mean, people complain because I get a muddy. Well, that's the real world. I step out in the mud, I step in the truck. That's what it is. Yeah, but, that's, there's know. nothing you can do, though. 
Yeah, and if you can't clean the, the what, interiors... What, am I supposed to bring around, like, a bucket of water and step yeah, in it before it's, I get in, or...? I mean, I really use them, and that's how it is. And I want people to see how they're used and what they're capable of. And it's why well, you always pull trailers, because not everybody can, you know, go looking yeah. for a new car and bring the trailer with them. So we always try to cover all that and have fun doing it. That's why I bring the ATVs and the motorcycles, and we try to do a lot, you know, and your horses and My Little Pony and all the things that we do is for a reason, but that, yeah, that's uh, that's part of it. So the only way we make any money on this deal is you know, YouTube advertising. Yeah, but and that'll, you know, people watch it. Yeah, and that's what pays for the cameras and all the time we spend up here. But mm -hmm. now if we had to pay for the vehicles too, nobody would be doing this. <laughs> Rocks and trees like he might have been something else, where Tommy took Big Green and went flying right up there and beat the Raptor. Yep. So a lot of that's just, what if we're going to bolt that grill and put it on my truck? Bullet bulletproof diesel. There you go.